Okay, I just want to do a quick video. Uh, a few weeks back I had the opportunity to meet a, a couple fellow YouTubers. There was an auction going on nearby of some radio electronics uh, goods and uh, not too many people were interested in it and I just don't understand why uh, the up and comings, the new generation, they just seem to not be into a lot of this, this stuff. Well I, I am and I never stopped and I, I just keep going so um, I met two folks. Um, Old 64 Goat has his own channel, Old 64 G O A T, all one word, Old 64 Goat. Uh, he was one of the partners in the radio repair shop hosting the auction. And uh, another fellow YouTuber, Cool Blue Lights, all one word, C O O L B L U E L I G H T S, um, showed up. So it was like two of us there. Uh, to get some goodies to take home with us and uh, just to make sure these things get a good home and uh, he was showcasing some of the uh, some of the works of other people though I've I've featured other works of other people also uh, we have Roy's music uh, RCA 45 Testing players and six I, I U5 six E5 iTubes it's called the iTube tester never seen anything like it right at the present moment I need a 1629 which is a I believe is a 12 volt version of, of this tube but anyway I still have a, a tube tester that will test these tubes but I don't recall if it shows the green or not um, I think I have one that does not it checks the emission but the tube doesn't glow green I'm not sure on that well anyway back to the subject at hand um, this was built by old 64 goat and Cool Blue Lights was showcasing some of uh, Old 64 Goat's goods and his homemade crafts and whatnot, homebrew. And uh, I just happened to be going through some of the tubes here. Again, the, the tubes was just, they just tubes. I just happened to be going through, and 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 it's faded. But I do see a six U five here, and so I I'll, I take it out of the box. And, and this appears to be new old stock. These um, seems like these guys were doing the radios right up to very recently, but um, for whatever reasons they have to, um, you know, carry on and move on to other things. So just happen to have a. Uh, it looks like a, a, a new old stock. I say these guys fixed. Looks like they did. All the old, old stuff for folks. Uh, radios and the televisions and just the really early days of this stuff. So I've never seen a eye tube tester. I, I so what we're gonna do here, it's it's plugged in. I'm gonna I'm gonna unplug it here a minute. I'm going to attach the eye tube to the socket. Let's see if I can get the correct pin out here. There we go. And we're going to plug it in and see what we get. It has a, has a control, a fuse. It's very well made with the strain relief, the Heiko strain relief. Feels like it has a power transformer. It's got rubber feet and a nice solid box. But again, who would know what this is if it wasn't labeled iTube Tester? And who would know what an eye tube tester is, other than uh, folks like ourselves here? So here we go. Let me uh, let's dim the lights here. And uh, what the control does here is you turn the control, and it uh, actuates the uh, signal. So you can close the tube. Close. Open. Being a new old stock, that is a, a mighty bright eye tube. Control, you can close. I imagine that's just putting a voltage on, a bias on one of the pins. Open up as I turn the control. 
So I did want to showcase that this, I can't take credit for this, I'm paying homage to Old 64 Goat. This is his iTube tester that came along with a, a box of tubes and um, who can't use an iTube tester? And that's for cool blue lights. Just wanted to show you that. Um, this one other item here before I go. Uh, Custom Components Corporation. V508, V509 vertical inductance. I, it's a test unit box. It's not homemade. Specialists in electronic assemblies, wire termination and harnesses. I have two sockets here that have varying uh, microhenries, 1.2, 1.9 to chassis, and 65 and 100 to chassis. So I don't know if this is of a black and white or color, or I can't find any information on this. But what is funny, what is funny about this, it says two chassis there, C-H-A-S-S-I-S. -S -S. That is the correct spelling. And over here, the typesetter, or whoever, the, the quality control, to chassis, is not spelled correctly. It's, misspe it's misspelled on the nomenclature. But that's the V508, V509 vertical inductance. If anyone out there knows what this can be used for, I'm sure it's for substituting the windings of the yoke of a television if you're bench testing. That's what my guess is. Why all the, why all the pins? Or what models would this be used for? I can't find any information on it. Okay, there you go. There's the iTube tester and custom components vertical induct vertical inductance test box. Thanks for watching.